Autodesk Ecotech Analysis 2010 is a comprehensive concept to detail sustainable design analysis tool, providing a wide range of simulation and analysis functionality through desktop and web service platforms. It consists of web-based tools known as Green Building Studio and a desktop application formerly known as Ecotech. The desktop application was designed by an architect to be used by architects and designers and can be used to study anything from solar performance to acoustic analysis. The web-based Green Building Studio, available through subscription, can be used for whole building energy, water, and carbon analysis. Whether starting your conceptual design in Revit or right inside the Ecotech Analysis desktop application, you can begin to perform sustainable design analysis at the early stages. Understanding and minimizing the impact of a proposed development on its site is a critical element for green design. So with this simple concept model that I created in Revit and imported into Ecotech Analysis, I will quickly study climate, shadows, and solar radiation. First, I'll generate a sun path diagram, which displays the daily solar data for my specific site. This information can be overlaid on my site with a simple click of the Show and Visualize page button. Here I can see when the sun will be most intense throughout the year, which will help me better understand the climate conditions of my site and may even begin to inform the overall building form or the design of the exterior skin. Next, I'm going to study the overshadowing effect my design will have on the surrounding context building. Many programs can generate accurate shadows, and some allow you to quickly and interactively update those shadows. What's interesting about the example I'm going to show is that you'll see the shadows for my proposed development are shaded in a different color. This allows me to very quickly see the impact of the new versus existing shadows on the site. I can also isolate the shadows only for the new development and quickly generate a butterfly diagram which shows the shadows and their intensity across a given range of time. Lastly, I'd like to show you an interesting feature called Reverse Sort Shadows. What this does is allow me to separate out only the new shadows that my development will create in order to visualize the true impact of my design. This is an extremely powerful tool for zoning and code compliance efforts, and Ecotech Analysis makes this information easy to interpret and present. Finally, I'll do a solar insulation study to see how the sun will impact the different facades of my building. This information can be used to inform decisions for daylighting or passive heating strategies, which both improve the indoor environmental quality and help reduce operating costs. Now, let's say I've developed my project a little further and I want to start investigating the energy, water, and carbon consumption of my proposed design. Take note that I haven't over-detailed the model at this point. I've kept it very schematic and lightweight because I want to still leave it open for change and allow changes to be made quickly and easily. So you'll see that I haven't included all of the interior partitions and I haven't put any interior doors in yet. Although my Revit model is always intelligent, here I'm treating it a bit like a 3D bubble diagram. And the windows are also simplified. I'm not worried yet about every single punched opening and exactly where it is on the facade. I'm mostly interested in the ratio of glass to solid wall. You may think that I need a lot more detail than what I'm showing to do this analysis, but that's not the case, especially when I'm doing analysis at the early stages of design and results will be relative to other design options that are all developed to the same level of detail. First, I need to make sure that the rooms in my Revit model are properly formed. I need to make sure that I've modeled all of the room bounding elements, such as floors, roofs, and walls, and that the rooms come into contact with these room bounding elements on all sides. This will ensure that my rooms are watertight and ready for analysis. Next, I'll export the model to GBXML and take a more complete look at the 3D representation of the rooms. Here, I can set the level of complexity for my export, enter important site and location information, as well as investigate the analytical surfaces of each room. When I'm satisfied with the quality of my rooms, I can save the GBXML file and upload it to the Green Building Studio web service. Now that I've got my model in Green Building Studio, I can analyze the whole building energy, carbon, and water consumption. 
It's important to note that the energy data and the carbon emissions data in Green Building Studio is extremely accurate and up to date. You can access weather data within nine miles of any site in the US, Canada, and Europe. And the database is quickly expanding to include data for sites anywhere in the world. Carbon emissions data is also very accurate and up to date as it comes directly from the local utility companies. Green Building Studio creates a baseline building and conducts a whole building energy simulation using DO2 energy analysis technology. Now, just minutes after leaving the Revit model, you've got results. These results are designed to give you the right information at the right time to guide your design decisions, including carbon neutrality potential. Along with the total building energy use and cost, you'll get an outline of your building's carbon footprint. You can see how much money will be spent on energy for a typical year and how many tons of CO2 emissions will be produced by that electricity. One of the many exciting features in Green Building Studio is the ability to quickly iterate through multiple design options without having to go back to Revit. With Green Building Studio, you have the ability to modify site orientation and percentage of glazing or other wall attributes right through the web interface. Also, Green Building Studio uses templates, which you can apply to your Revit model. You can define templates and reuse them on multiple projects. These templates contain critical information about wall types, R values, and U factors. You can also apply multiple templates to the same design option, allowing you to quickly see the impact of construction assembly changes again without having to remodel each option in Revit. Now that I've got some preliminary energy analysis complete on my building and design decisions have been made that will greatly reduce operating costs, I'd like to do some detailed design analysis in order to greatly improve the indoor environmental quality of my space. I'm going to take my model back into the desktop application and do some daylighting, shading design, and louver design studies. With Ecotech analysis, it's easy to look at only portions of the building. And using the section tool, I've isolated a single floor of the model on which I will perform my daylighting analysis. As you can see, just like with the shadows, I can interactively slide the section cut in order to see my results more clearly. Now, let's say I wanted to investigate the impact of adding solar shading devices to my punched openings on the south side of the building. Ecotech Analysis provides a step-by-step -step shading design wizard that will generate the optimal shading device design based on the inputs you give it, such as the time frame during which you'd like to block the sun. In a matter of seconds, I can generate this optimal shape and then custom tailor it to meet the aesthetic design criteria for my project. Alternately, I may consider implementing a louver system with light shell across the entire facade. Here, we're going to project sun rays into the space and see how effective the design is at blocking direct sunlight while allowing in as much reflected light as possible. I can even tweak the model with the solar rays showing and see them update automatically. I can change the number of bounces and which surfaces reflect the sunlight or not. This was just a very high level preview of the features and functionality of Autodesk Ecotech Analysis with Green Building Studio which offers a wide range of uses from conceptual to detailed design analysis. The tools are efficient and easy to use, and analyses that are traditionally executed by engineers and reported using tables and graphs can be studied very graphically in a way that supports the designer's workflow. We believe that with the range of tools, analyses, and workflows that are supported, architects and designers will quickly see the benefits of working with the Autodesk Revit platform and Ecotech Analysis. Thank you.